Y'all, I need to stay my American ass and my Americanized culture, okay? Because something got to give. Tell me if I'm tripping right now. Disclaimer yet, this video is for educational and commentary purpose only. This channel does not support any form of violent, hate, hate speech, or any illegal activity. This video is for educational and commentary purpose only. Hey, beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I find this video very, very interesting because this, my beautiful Black American sister, decided to share a story of her experience with African waist bead and it's crazy. Anyway, guys, I need you guys to hear what she has to say because I find this conversation very, very interesting. Yeah, I need to stay my American ass and my Americanized culture, okay? Because something got to give. Tell me if I'm tripping right now. So I can't tell y'all on my mom's business, but basically my mom's an ethnic. She Jamaican, okay? And she be messing with the ethnic. So she was messing with this man from Africa and then he went back to visit Africa and then when he came home, he dead ass brought her waist beads so when he brought her the waist beads she ain't wanna so then i was like okay i'm gonna take them the only reason that she gave real scary is because this man was obsessed with my mom okay okay so i took them from her and then i was like a little bit nervous you know what i mean but i put them on because i i know the meaning like i'm not that dang after everything checked out i wrapped these holes around me right the waist beads are made out of string these are what they look like these are the waist beads when I had them on, I started getting scared because why I started getting like intense ass dreams out of nowhere. And at first I was not tying it to the waist beats. Like I was like, something is wrong. I had a dream. I was mad as fuck woke up. I got my ass beat. And I'm talking, she was whooping my ass and Keys was watching. I was mad as everybody. My boyfriend was watching. My friends was watching. Then they leaked the video on the internet and I was mad as fuck because I beat her up third and fourth and fifth round, but she leaked the one round where she was whooping my ass. Nonetheless, the final straw on why I took them off is because I had a dream one day. I'm sweating. And it was about me and my boyfriend. Something happened with us. I woke up crying in the dream and everything from the dream. And I was in sweats. Like, my boyfriend was like, are you okay? Bitch, I looked down. Why the waist beats laying cute in the bed? So I took that as a sign to just not put them hoes back on. Then my mom goes to Antigua. And then my mom's like, I'm starting to think it's her at this point. She calls me because I called her telling her about the waist beads. And I'm like, yo, bro, I don't know if these waist beads got a spell on them or something. But yeah, girl, uh, no, I took them off. She was laughing at me. So she knew I didn't have waist beads. So when she was in Tiga, her friends is from there. She was like, hey, my friend got a little lot. Do you want some waist beads? I'm like, sure. I get the waist beads from my mother. <sighs> Put them bitches on my body. And everything fine. But then life is just not lifing right now. Especially within the last couple of days. Life has not been lifing. I wake up this morning after having one of the worst nights of the beginning of the year. I'm talking cried out my sleep. Wake up. I'm making my bed. I realize all oh, my waist beads is gone. Where the fuck could they be? I had two on. I can't even find the orange one. I find the waist beads in my bed. I'm like, figured they fell off in my sleep. Let me show you the waist beads. This is how I found the waist beads in my bed. I have not screwed it back or unscrewed it at all. This is how I found it. How the fuck did it get off my body? How the fuck did it get off my body? I'm long as fuck. It ain't even like I'm two feet tall. And the waist beads are low-key tight. How? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm straight. Somebody better make me some waist beads. And all the tries better be for Michaels. Because, oh God, I don't know what the fuck going on. So that's what she has to say, and this got a lot of people's reaction. So please go ahead and share your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Love to know your thoughts like we do here. We have conversation. So feel free, air your opinion, but please do it respectfully. You don't have to insult anybody or anybody's culture by airing your opinion. Do it respectfully, okay? So some of you guys don't know, I am in nigeria get i live in nigeria i've been in nigeria all my life so i would say i live in the continent africa so yes waist bead is a thing hand bead is a thing anklet is a thing this is something we do and i know i think it's a thing too in jamaica and the caribbeans and all that but my own concern in all this is the fact the way even in our comment section people were like demonizing the waist bead and all that like which is not so, it's part of our heritage, it's part of our culture. We wear beads, yeah, in different tribes in Africa, in Nigeria, we wear beads. But clearly, she told the story that, yes, the bead was given to a mom by uh, a man obsessed with a mom 
Do, do I believe in voodoo? Yes. Do we have voodoo and juju here in Africa? Yes, we have it. But that does not mean that every waist bead you see or you see somebody wearing waist bead is kind of doing voodoo. We have the ones that people just wear for wear. Some even wear waist bead for weight loss. Do you guys know that? So I didn't like the fact that in our comment section, some people were demonizing it, forgetting the fact that somebody that was obsessed with a mom gave a mom the waist bead and she the mom gave her the waist bead. So that mom could have probably done something with the beads and all that. And it is. And then some African sisters in the um co- making comments about it like, oh, this is why we told you for not to mess with Africa. Like, really? Then heritage is from Africa. So what are you saying? I really don't like, no, you don't do that. Like, there's nothing wrong with waist bead, Africa waist bead, there's nothing wrong with it. Just know where, who you're getting. If you're getting as a gift, no, trust who you're getting it from. If you're buying it, you can go to the market and buy it harmlessly and nothing will happen. I used to wear beads on my waist. You know, I say, oh, I wore it and I was having nightmare. Really? Probably maybe that one she wore probably was done something, obviously. But... Not all African beads with the reaction in our comment section that are just trying to demonize the old Africa thing now. Anyway, guys, please go ahead and share your thoughts about this down in the comment section. Do you believe in voodoo? Do you believe in African beads? Do you believe African beads are demonic? Please go ahead and share your thoughts down in the comment section. Okay, like we do here, we have conversations, so feel free share your thoughts. Anyway, guys, share this video with somebody that you want to be part of this conversation because that's what we do here. We have conversations, so share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And with that all said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.